Amin. Itu sebabnya mari malam hari ini kita bangkit, kita serukan nama Yesus, menara yang kuat, kota benteng kita yang teguh. Haleluya. Glory haleluya. Mari kita bangkit bagi semua. Angkat pujian, bangkit, serukan nama Yesus. Haleluya. Hallelujah! 
Dan Yesuslah pusat dari penyembahan kita. Haleluya. Kita akan masuk dalam kebenaran firman Allah. Hanya di dalam nama Yesus ada keselamatan. Haleluya. Mari kita bangkit bersama. Amin. Oh, haleluya. Oh, di
yang ajaib ada dalam namanya ada kemenangan ada kasih saya haleluya oh haleluya glory haleluya haleluya Bapa di sorga, Allah yang ajaib di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus, guru selamat kami. Allah roh kudus ada di tengah-tengah kami ya Tuhan. Kami bersyukur karena kemurahan Tuhan, karena pertolonganMu, karena keajaibanMu ya Tuhan bagi kami. Kami sudah memuji, memuliakan, membesarkan nama. Saatnya kami mau dengar firman Allah, firman yang berkuasa, firman yang menyelamatkan. Oh Haleluya, urapi kamu ya Tuhan. Mari saudara, bisa menjadi Haleluya.
Sambung permintaan firman Allah dengan pujian yang berkata, Surga kata Ibrani, Haleluya. Itulah tujuan saya dan saudara. Amin. Haleluya.
Hallelujah. Kami persilakan nama Tuhan. Pastor Stefan Sos akan membuatkan firman. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Menyenangkan sekali boleh kembali ada di sini malam ini. What a joy to be in the presence of Jesus. Satu sukacita yang besar berada di hadirat Yesus. Amen. Amen. What a nice worship and praise and adoration. Betapa indahnya pujian dan penyembahan dan pengagungan pada Tuhan. There is nothing greater than to be in with the people of God. Tidak ada yang lebih besar daripada berada di tengah-tengah umat Tuhan. And together worshiping Jesus. Bersama-sama menyembah Yesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 I would just like to say on behalf of Barbara and myself. Dan Barbara dan saya mau mengucapkan. Yeah, we would like to thank you once again. Sekali lagi kami hendak mengucapkan terima kasih. Pastor Elion, the committee that was organizing this crusade. Kepada Pastor Pendeta Nubil Elion dan Kepada Panitia yang kami menyiapkan ini semua. And all of the pastors who are present here. Dan semua hamba-hamba Tuhan yang hadir di sini. And all of you. Dan semua saudara. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Terima kasih karena sudah ada di sini. May the Lord richly, richly bless you. Dan kiranya Tuhan memberkati kau berlimpah-limpah. Yes, because Because it is a purpose and the intent of God. Karena ini adalah niat atau hasrat dari Tuhan. For us as a people of God, sebagai umat Tuhan, to come together for one reason. Untuk berkumpul bersama untuk satu alasan. And that is a sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Karena untuk menceritakan kabar baik Yesus Kristus. The good news. Kabar baik berita ini. The powerful news. Berita penuh kuasa itu. The only news. You will read that you name it. That God is giving us the opportunity to hear. Bahwa Allah memberikan kepada kita kesempatan untuk mendengar. And so I would like to share a message with you tonight. Dari malam hari ini saya kembalikan berita buat saya. If you have your Bible, your phone, or your smartphone, or tablet, whatever you have tonight. Kalau saudara bawa alkitab, saudara pada alkitab dalam iPhone saudara. Turn to the book of Acts. Mari kita mulai dalam kisah para rasul. The book of Acts, and we're going to read chapter three, verse six, six and sixteen. Mari kita baca dari pasal ketiga ayat ke enam dan ayat ke belas. Yes. The book of Acts, chapter three, verse six and sixteen. Kisah para rasul pasal tiga ayat ke enam. Tetapi Yesus berkata, tetapi Petrus berkata, emas dan perak tidak ada padaku, tetapi apa yang ku punya ini ku berikan kepadamu. Demi nama Yesus Kristus orang Nazaret itu berjalanlah di dalam baca ayat 16 dan karena kepercayaan dalam nama Yesus maka nama itu telah menguatkan orang yang kamu lihat dan kamu kenal ini dan kepercayaan itu telah memberi kesembuhan kepada orang ini di depan kamu semua. Amin. Amin. What a powerful passage. Ini adalah satu nas yang begitu dasya. You know, if you watch TV, you would realize. Kalau saudara menyaksikan televisi, saudara menyadari that the news is full of tragedies. Bahwa berita-berita di TV itu penuh dengan tragedi. Disaster around the world. Empat petaka bencana di seluruh dunia. There is floods. Ada banjir. There is earthquakes. Ada gempa bumi. There is attacks. Ada juga bencana. There's all kinds of things happen today when you watch the news. Jadi begitu banyak peristiwa terjadi di dunia. Kau menyimak suara kabar. You know, it seems like that our society is no longer touched by the tragedies. Seperti yang seolah-olah masyarakat itu begitu dingin saja mendengar berita-berita tragedi seperti itu. So many, many people tonight sitting here. Jadi banyak orang malam hari ini yang duduk di sini. Being a family, co-workers, people, you know, in the society here. Ah, mungkin di dalam keluarga, rekan sekerja atau orang-orang yang semua di sini. You will realize that many people. People struggle. Kau menyadari begitu banyak orang orang mengalami penderitaan. If you look at the outside, they look pretty much okay. Kalau kau melihat penampilan di luarnya sepertinya baik-baik saja. But on the inside, tetapi di dalam hidup mereka, they are struggling people. Mereka begitu bergumul. You know, they because they don't know what's going to happen to their children. Karena mereka tidak tahu apa yang akan terjadi dengan anak-anak mereka. 
My family is falling apart today. You know, some people are just holding on to their job. There's people today who have guilt feelings in their life. There is more depressed people today in the world than ever before the history of mankind. If you would go to you people on your street, go from every household, you will find out that behind those walls, there are many, many human needs. Almost every household has some type of needs. Because you see, every person has a story. You have your story. I have my story. We all have been hurt at some time. We all have been hurt at some time. We all have been used sometimes. You know, we have failed sometimes. We all need a healing sometimes. But above all that, we need Jesus. We all need Jesus. We all need Jesus. So the Bible tells us about the tragedy of this particular man. You know, there is nothing more comforting to read in the news when a bad boy turns to be a good boy. Because the Bible tells us about the tragedy of this particular man. When a poor man makes to be a rich man. When Mr. Nobody becomes somebody. Those are the wonderful stories that we can read. And that is the business of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It changes people's lives. He makes uh, uh, somebody out of nothing. And so here the Bible reports first people in the church. Why is this first miracle? Because there are many principles in that particular miracle. That you and I can learn from tonight. There are four particular things in this miracle. Firstly, this was unexpected. It was not just another day. It was totally unexpected. Secondly, because this miracle was done in the name of Jesus without the presence of Jesus. Thirdly, this miracle was instant. You know there is healings, but there is miracles of healings. And miracle of healing is an instant thing. And fourthly, now it was complete miracle. It was not kind of a continuation or a journey of a miracle. But it was instant and complete. So when you look at the situation of this lame beggar, we realize that his situation was hopeless and helpless. So it was a hopeless situation for him. 
kuasa buat orang ini. His disability was permanent and long term situation. Dan cacat itu adalah cacat-cacat yang permanen dan untuk seumur hidup. With no help inside. Dan tidak ada tampak pertolongan sama sekali. And this man. Dan orang ini has learned to live with his situation. Sudah belajar menjalani hidupnya yang demikian. You know, one of the saddest things today, dari satu hal yang paling menyedihkan hari ini, is that many people when they come to a situation like this, or like otherwise, yang orang yang mengalami keadaan seperti ini atau orang susah seperti ini, we have the ability to learn to live with all situations. Kita telah menjadikan mental kita pikiran kita untuk belajar hidup dan menanggung penderitaan ini. Just like this man, seperti orang ini, he accepted. I'm a man. Dia telah menerima dirinya sebagai orang lupa. I have never walked. Aku tidak pernah mungkin berjalan. And I will never walk. Dan aku tidak akan pernah berjalan. That's my life. Itu hidupku. This is me. Itu aku. And I have a good news for you. Tetapi ada kabar. God, there is no permanent situation. There is no permanent situation in God. But God, the God of change, He wants to change your situation. He wants to change everyone's situation. God, and so the Bible says that this physical affliction of this man. Although he was helpless and hopeless, meskipun keadaan itu dalam keadaan putus asa dan tanpa pengharapan, this man was no longer looking for hope. Orang ini tidak lagi mencari pengharapan. What he was looking for is help. Yang dia cari adalah bantuan. And now the Bible tells us that kita mencatat that every one of us. Setiap kita is a picture of this man in a spiritual way. Adalah gambaran orang ini dalam keadaan hidup rohani kita. You know, in Psalm 51, when the David prayed, di dalam Masmur 51 ketika ketika Daud berdoa, it says, Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity. Dikatakan dalam ayat itu, Aku dilahirkan di dalam kesalahan, and in sins my mother conceived me. Di dalam dosa aku it is a picture of a sinful life. Everybody born into this world. You have been born with a sinful nature. Just like this man. He could not help himself. No one could help him. Church or what place or what should we go to? Tidak peduli ke gereja atau ke penyembahan apapun yang dilakukannya. From birth to be or sinners. Dari lahir sejak lahir kita adalah orang berdosa. And we are in need of a savior. Dan kita membutuhkan juru selamat. Yeah, just like this man, Jesus. Seperti orang ini butuh Yesus. Tonight I will tell you, you need Jesus. If you are a believer of Jesus Christ, if Jesus has not changed your life, if you have been born into the kingdom of God, tonight you need a change in your life like this man in the Bible. And later on, I'm going to call of you. For those of you who have never experienced Christ as a personal Savior, that you may come tonight. This is your opportunity that Jesus Christ can become a personal Savior for your life. Don't walk away from here unchanged. Jangan tinggalkan tempat ini tanpa kau diubah Tuhan. Jesus wants to change your life tonight. Yesus dapat mengubah hidup malam ini. And that's the purpose of preaching the gospel tonight. Dan itu adalah tujuan karena kami beritakan injil malam ini. Because salvation is a gift of God, the Bible says. Karena keselamatan itu adalah kasih kami Allah. It is your gift tonight. Itu adalah kasih karunia bagi kamu. And I'm going to ask you to receive 
that gift tonight into your life. This man was every single day by the temple. Yet he never experienced Christ. You know, because the Bible tells us that he was only there for one purpose. To receive some help money that he could live on. And now the Bible says, Pentecost took place. And the disciples of Jesus Christ experienced the power of the Holy Spirit. And the moment they had the Holy Spirit's power, Change his life. And so the Bible tells us this man 
was at the gate. Jadi uh, Alkitab mencatat bahwa orang ini mengemis di gerbang bait suci. And Peter looked at this man. Dan Petrus menatap orang ini. And this man paid attention to them. The Bible says. Dan Alkitab mencatat pengemis ini menatap dan memperhatikan Petrus. And so Peter looks at him and see expectation in his eyes. Dan uh, Petrus melihat orang itu melihat apa yang diharapkan orang ini. Because first. Point of the miracle is expectation. Karena uh, point pertama dari dari mujizat itu adalah harapan. If you don't expect, kalau kau tidak mengharapkan, you will not receive it. Kalau kau tidak terima apa-apa, so is the platform. It is the foundation for it. Itu adalah dasar yang bawa kau mengharapkan dari Tuhan. And so he was looking up, expecting to receive something. Dan, jadi dia menatap, dia menantikan uh, sesuatu dari Petrus. And now Peter says, dan Petrus katakan. Silver and gold I have none. Mas dan perak tidak ada padaku. So what do you expect when the, he says I have no silver, I have no gold? Jadi apalagi yang kau harapkan kalau orang itu katakan aku tidak punya uang, tidak punya mas atau perak. There is nothing else. Tidak ada apa-apa lagi. That means I'm not going to get any money. I'm not going to get any help. Artinya bang mis itu berkata aku tidak akan terima uang, aku tidak akan terima bantuan apa-apa dari kamu. But then Peter said, tetapi kemudian Petrus katakan, But what I have, tetapi apa yang aku miliki, apa yang aku miliki, see, we as believers of Jesus Christ, we have something. Kita sebagai orang percaya Yesus Kristus, kita memiliki sesuatu, something that is more than money, sesuatu yang lebih besar dari yang kita punya, something that is more than education, lebih besar daripada pengobatan, something that is more than health. Sesuatu yang lebih besar dari kesehatan. We have something powerful yang begitu dahsyat kuasa. And then he says, dan kemudian Petrus katakan, What I have, I give it to you. Apa yang ada pada aku, apa yang aku punya, aku berikan pada aku. We are tonight here to give you something that we have. Kami akan seperti Petrus, kami akan berikan sesuatu yang ada pada kami. What do we have? Apa yang ada pada kami? The power of Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because Peter is in the temple door. 
daar aan my is terus gerak aan, ek sal nie boed is hy hulle met af, dan tiba tiba nie taan, dan kon jy gaan, en daan, en af, en daan, dan kon jy gaan, en daan, 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 en and he was shaking back and forth on the floor. Then he said, I reached to him. I said, get up, man. I said, Jesus wants to heal you right now. I saw that now he started to stand up. He was very shaky. Then he began to come down. He was like this. Now he was shaky, shaky. Then he began to limbo. I said, "That's okay. That's good. That's good." Pito Bangus, just keep on. Just keep on. Trust with God. Trust with God. So I was holding on his hand. Then I said, "Put your hand on your." There's a walk. That's how you walk in Jesus' name. Put your hand on your. Walk in Jesus' name. Put your hand on your. Walk in Jesus' name. Something took his away. He started to go like this. It started to go like this. It started to go like this. And now he started to dance around. Then we have the other one. Nari, nari. He says, no, my legs are okay. My hands are okay. I'm here. My mind is not going to be able to move. And he started to give glory unto Jesus. That's what happens in the name of Jesus. And tonight I'm offering this to you. You know, whatever need you may have. You may not be a layman. But you may be a leading man. You need a touch of Jesus. You need a miracle in your life. You need a salvation. You want to become a child of God tonight. You must come to Jesus. And I'm going to tell you. Right now. I'm going to call you. So I'm going to ask everyone to stand right now. Please stand together with me. And I'm going to ask, is there anyone here tonight? You have never received Jesus Christ as a personal Savior. Just lift your hand to so I can see you. You see, you have never received Jesus. That's right. There's many, yeah. there's many over there. Yeah. Yeah. There's many yeah. back there. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. there. Yes, yes. There's many over here waving to me right now. Can I ask you to come to the front? Can I ask you to come? Just quickly come. Come to Jesus. That's right. Just come and say, Lord, I'm coming tonight. I have never received salvation in my life yet. So this is my night tonight. I want to accept Jesus as my personal Savior. So that the blood of Jesus Christ can wash away my sins. And if that is your situation, that is your life, I'm going to ask you, come. Please come, everybody. There's more, there's more. There's more over there. Yeah. We're going to wait for you. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody, everybody. You need salvation tonight. You come. You come. Yes, Lord. Yes, there's more people coming tonight. You need Jesus tonight. You need salvation in your life right now. Come to Jesus. He wants to save your life. He wants to cleanse your sins. He wants to make something new out of your life. That you may become a child of God. That you may have hope in Jesus Christ. Tonight you are going to be a child of God by the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's right, yes! Yes, there's more, there's more, there's more coming right now! Yes, 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 Lord! Thank you, Lord! Yes, there's more coming right now! There's more coming right now! In the name of Jesus, hallelujah! I pray, God, that you would touch their lives tonight! Hallelujah! 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 H
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Just come. Yes, yes, yes. This is a testimony. This is a testimony tonight. For all of those who are receiving Jesus Christ, just lift your hand right now. If you are receiving Jesus Christ for the first time, for the first time tonight, you have never received Jesus before. Tonight, this is your night. Hallelujah. We are praying right now. And I I want you to repeat so that it's easier for you. Say, Lord Jesus, I come tonight because I believe that you are the Savior of the world and that you are my Savior. And I want to receive you tonight. And I want to ask you, Lord, that you would wash away my sins. I repent in my heart. I am a sinner. And I'm in need of a Savior tonight. Lord, receive me tonight. I'm going to ask the pastors tonight. 
Unless all the pastors, please come. Because we did not lay hands on them. And we are going to pray for all the sick people right now. Believe in the Lord. The God is going to touch the needs of the them right now. Yes, all pastors, come. come, come. Yes. There are people here. They need a healing right now. In the name of Jesus. Just begin to trust the Lord. Just begin to trust the Lord. Just begin to trust the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Right now. Yes. I think already. In Jesus' name. Yes. Come. Come. Quickly. Yes. We're going to pray together. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Come. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, shakalabakaba baba baba baba. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is the trade that we pray for? Where is the trade that we need to pray for? She's over here? Yes, okay. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Glory. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes, 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 yes. You, you will not need this. You will not need this anymore. Oh, shit. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,
mujizat ada mujizat Tuhan engkau sudah alami itu tadi pendeta sudah hot bahkan pastor sudah sosok mengatakan kalau engkau sudah percaya engkau harus lakukan langkah berikut supaya engkau lihat mujizat Allah engkau Yesus dalam air baptisan engkau harus lakukan baik engkau yang adalah panitia yang belum dibaptis engkau harus lakukan maupun engkau yang datang malam hari ini haleluya haleluya engkau harus alami kesembuhan dan engkau sudah alami kesembuhan sudah Tuhan menjamah engkau dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus haleluya 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 kesempatan akan berakhir malam ini di malam terakhir haleluya dan jangan engkau lewatkan malam ini Tuhan yang panggil Tuhan yang panggil haleluya setiap kekasih yang melakukan yang mau melakukan kehendak Tuhan dalam air baptis engkau angkat tangan kau yang belum pernah melakukan tapi engkau lihat Tuhan engkau sudah tolong saya dan saya mau ikut kehendakmu Tuhan terima kasih engkau sudah tolong saya dan saya mau ikut langkahmu Tuhan langkahmu semua yang mau dibaptis datang dekat di tangga ini terima kasih yang mau dibaptis datang dekat di sini terima kasih Bapak Allah engkau melihat siapa lagi datang dekat sini Tuhan yang panggil Tuhan yang Terima kasih Bapak 
sebab mereka ikut latihan Yesus mereka ikut firman Allah Pastor Stephen Jones telah berhenti berbicara dan yang menarik mereka maju adalah roh kudus roh kudus dan firman Allah terima kasih Tuhan terima kasih Allah Bapa. terima kasih Yesus Kristus terima kasih roh kudus engkau terlalu ajar engkau terlalu dahsyat engkau luar biasa engkau luar biasa Bapa berkati kekasih-kekasih ini supaya mereka melakukan kehendak terima kasih Bapa. panitia siap di sebelah kanan saya mereka akan turun ke tangga ini dan panitia siap di sana untuk mencat nama mereka dan menyiapkan apabila mau dilakukan malam ini kita lakukan malam ini juga apabila mau dilakukan besok dilakukan, dilaksanakan di mana tempatnya diberitakan Tuhan sudah bekerja sekali Tuhan panggil tidak akan ada yang terlepas terima kasih Bapa berkati panitia terima kasih Bapa berkati aparat pemerintah berkati Denny Pomri berkati PLN berkati semua wali kota gubernur yang telah memberi kesempatan malam dua malam ini puji sang Tuhan terjadi berkati tokoh-tokoh yang ada di sekitar ini di kota Jayapura Allah berkati sopir-sopir taksi Allah berkati saudara-saudara kami yang selalu duduk dan santai di, di taman ini Tuhan tolong mereka Tuhan tolong mereka berkati semua di gereja dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus terima kasih Bapa. berkati hamba Mustafa Tom dan hamba Upeter Jemaah yang sudah Tuhan pakai Bapa Stephen, Stephen Sos dan istri Rohat pakai mereka dimanapun mereka pergi dan berada berkati keluarga mereka dua malam sudah terilah berkat Tuhan panggilan Tuhan terima kasih Bapa berkati Bapa Pendeta Sr. Kembali gara gara ulang tahun yang ke 989 ada banyak jiwa datang kepada Tuhan sebuah teladan yang luar biasa yang Allah tinggalkan untuk kami oleh hamba baru Tuhan berkati hamba memberi kekuatan memanjang sukacita damai sejahtera Bapak Pendeta Esra Beri dan keluarga besar Beri terima kasih Tuhan berkati cemat GPDI Alfa Omega Hamad di Jayapura pakai mereka menjadi alat yang luar biasa terima kasih Bapak inilah doa kami kami mengucap syukur Haleluya 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 Semua katakan amin Tuhan yang panggil Tuhan di sebelah kiri Tuhan sebelah kanan saya
Dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus Kami serahkan acara selanjutnya dalam tangan Tuhan Dalam nama Yesus Haleluya Amin
Jesu. And as we come to a conclusion of this service tonight, dan saat kami mengakhiri ibadah kami, we pray, Lord, that you will go with us. To be the powerful witnesses of Jesus Christ in this, in this part of the world. Jadi saksi-saksimu di mana pun di muka bumi ini. I command you bless you and every one of them. Aku perkatakan berkatmu atas mereka semua. May your face shine upon them. Kiranya wajahmu menyinari mereka. May the peace of God be in their hearts. Kiranya damai serta Tuhan di dalam presence be with them, O Lord. Kiranya hadirat pada dalam hidup mereka. That your name again and again be glorified. We bless your holy name to God. We put you in God to have. Give you all the glory. Give you all the praise. Give you all the praise. Give you all the worship. In Jesus' name. Puji Tuhan, ibadah kita telah selesai. Panitia menyiapkan bus untuk yang pulang. Ya, sudah disiapkan bus sesuai dengan rute-rute ya. Tadi malam, jadi bus-bus itu sudah disiapkan sesuai dengan rute yang sudah ditetapkan tadi malam. Puji Tuhan, Tuhan berkati. Mungkin ada penyampaian dari panitia. Ada penyampaian dari Panitia dan ya, puji Tuhan.